On Tuesday, Russian aircraft again engaged in dangerous and reckless and unprofessional behavior in the international airspace over the Black Sea. I just got off the phone with my Russian counterpart, Minister Shoigu. And as I've said repeatedly, it's important that great powers be models of transparency and communication. And the United States will continue to fly and to operate wherever international law allows. The risk of miscalculation is high. And this morning, we are monitoring the growing tensions between the U.S. and Russia after this latest event in the sky. The U.S. military released some footage of the moment a Russian fighter jet collided with a U.S. spy drone over the Black Sea. This is the first known direct confrontation between the two nations since Russia invaded Ukraine more than a year ago. The Kremlin is denying that its plane came into contact with the drone and says that the U.S. is to blame for the incident. I think the video speaks for itself, and you can see the Russian jet uh, releasing some fuel as it gets close uh, to the drone. Meanwhile, we've got this this morning. In Poland, nine suspected Russian spies were detained for allegedly planning acts of sabotage in the NATO country. Poland's defense minister made that announcement this morning. Here to talk about both of these developing situations in the ongoing war in Ukraine, Paul Rykoff, national security and political analyst, also the host of The Independent Americans with Paul Rykoff. Uh, great to have you on, as always. Let's start with the, uh, the drone over the Black Sea and the Russian fighter jet essentially uh, causing it to, to crash into the ocean. Um, is this anything other than a provocative move? I mean, you, you heard U.S. authorities there saying it was reckless, it was unprofessional. It's dangerous. You know, Marty, I think it's a reflection of how high the stakes are and how interwoven not just the U.S. and, and Russia are, but so many other countries in the region, Poland, Moldova. I mean, the, 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 the idea that this won't spill over in the next couple of years I think is, is really wishful thinking because you've got so many different military assets in so many different places doing so many things. Imagine if this hadn't been an unmanned drone, but an actual uh, fighter plane with an American inside. Uh, we would have even higher stakes right now. I'm, I'm grateful that it was only a drone. We can't trust the Russians on anything. They're not playing by the same rules. And I think, you know, Secretary Austin is trying to do the right thing. He's trying to show leadership. He's trying to show the right way to behave on the global stage. But Putin doesn't play by those rules. So we've got to continue to monitor him. We've got to keep him in check and we've got to prepare for the unexpected. And this is what could happen on any given day, not just over the seas, but anywhere across the region of Europe. Right. And it's critically important to have the video to prove it. We know Russia yeah. has been um, a proponent of propaganda since the war started. Uh, this is evidence that they're just not telling the truth, right? People can see for their own eyes. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.